Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Let ABC be the triangle with AB equal to 1, AC equal to 3, and angle BAC equal to pi over 2. If a circle of radius R greater than 0 touches the sides AB, AC, and also touches internally the circumcircle of the triangle ABC, then the value of R is blank. This problem was question 8 on the JE Advanced 2022 Paper 1. I thank Rahul and Bhattu for suggesting the problem, and I also give credit to Unacademy Adam's video solution, which helped me understand how to solve the problem. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Before I explain the solution, I want to go over an important concept. If two circles are tangent, their centers and the tangent point are collinear. So here we have circles A and B that are tangent at a point T. This principle says that ATB is a straight line segment. To understand why, construct the tangent line through point T. Then, because T is a tangent point, AT will be perpendicular to the tangent line, and BT will be perpendicular to the tangent line. Therefore, ATB will be a straight line segment. This is true for both externally and internally tangent circles. So now let's solve the problem. We have the triangle ABC. AB is equal to 1 and AC is equal to 3. Angle BAC is equal to pi over 2, which is equal to 90 degrees, so angle A is a right angle. That means BC is the hypotenuse, so it will be equal to the square root of the square of 1 plus the square of 3. This is equal to the square root of 10. We now want to construct the circumcircle of ABC. Now because angle A is a right angle, the arc that it subtends in the circumcircle will be 180 degrees. This means that BC will be the diameter of the circumcircle. So the hypotenuse is the diameter of the circumcircle. So BC is the diameter, which means half of BC will be the radius. So let's construct the midpoint of BC M, and then CM and MB will both be radii of the circumcircle, and each of them will be equal to 0.5 multiplied by the square root of 10. Now, because M is the midpoint, it will be exactly half the horizontal distance of AB and half the vertical distance of AC. So from point A, it'll be 0.5 units to the right and 1.5 units up. Now let's construct this circle, which is tangent to the sides AB and AC and is internally tangent to the circumcircle. Label the center of this circle as D. Now this circle and the circumcircle of the triangle are tangent at a point T. So by the principle, MDT will be a straight line segment. Let's suppose the radius of this smaller circle, DT, is equal to R. Then MT is a radius of the circumcircle, so we know its radius is equal to 0.5 multiplied by the square root of 10, so MD will be the difference of the radii, so MD will be equal to 0.5 multiplied by the square root of 10 minus R. Now, let's consider the horizontal and vertical distance to D from the point A. Now, we'll construct the following radii. So the circle D is tangent to AB and it's tangent to AC. So each of these will be radii. So now we've constructed a square between the points A and D. So each side length of the square will be a radius of the circle D. So each of these distances will be equal to R. Now let's consider the horizontal and vertical distances between M and D. We can find this as the difference between R and 0.5 and the difference between R and 1.5. So we figured out the horizontal and vertical distances between M and D. We now just focus on this right triangle. Let's say this point is E and that's the right angle. So we have a right triangle and we know the lengths of the legs and we know the length of the hypotenuse. So we have ME squared plus ED squared is equal to MD squared. 
we substitute in for these lengths and we get the following equation. So we have a single equation in R and we just need to solve for R. So let's focus on this equation. To solve it, we will expand the binomials. Now we will group like terms. So we have r squared plus r squared on one side, and then we have r squared on the other side, so that'll cancel out to be r squared on the left-hand side. Then we'll group the r terms. Finally, we'll look at the constant terms. We have 2.25 plus 0.25, and that's equal to 2.5, so that'll exactly cancel with the 2.5 on the right-hand side. So this equation becomes r squared minus 4r plus r multiplied by the square root of 10 is equal to 0. We factor in r from this equation. Then the radius has to be greater than 0 by the given information in the problem. So we exclude the solution r is equal to 0, and we just have the solution r is equal to 4 minus the square root of 10, which is approximately equal to 0 0.84. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.